Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I've called this, of course I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out the UK. Um, I discuss various topics um, to do with anything that can help people understand difficult processes or what's going on. So if you have any kind of questions or something you want me to research and look up for you, don't hesitate. I'm more than happy. I might not do it in a day. I might not do it straight away, but I will look into it and answer your questions because I do appreciate how difficult some procedures and processes are. Anyway, putting that aside, I called this video Illegal Aliens Are Human because I had a, a question. Somebody asked me a question. They said, could an overstayer be a, be a beneficiary and it made me you know it rested on my mind and it rested on my mind until this morning and you know what's happened a rose by any other name is still a rose they used to call them illegal immigrants then they started calling them no they used to call them illegal aliens then they started calling them foreign immigrants then they call them overstairs, then they call them um, out of status and regardless of what they call them, they're being made to feel as though they're not human. They're being stigmatised, they're being isolated, they're being alienated and they are being forced into a situation that is uncomfortable. We have to remember that these overstayers whoever they are, they, oh, they, they come to the UK or they go to the USA for a better life, regardless of whether they do it legally or illegally. And you can shout from the housetops and say they shouldn't do this, they shouldn't do that, blah, 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 Miss Goody Goody, two shoes. Let he who, has, who is without sin cast the first stone. You know what I mean? So you're giving them all a bollocking. But the fact of the matter is they didn't come up to the country thinking, oh, I'm going to commit a crime. They didn't come over as criminals. Some of them have been turned into criminals in order to survive. And I am not condoning that. I'm just saying that they are human beings and they have rights to life. And they shouldn't be forced underground and made to feel like animals and criminals. And that is what the system is doing. These people are our family members. They are our friends. In some cases, they are employers. They are employees, even though they probably shouldn't be. You know, they're our spouses. They're our loved ones. They're human, just like you and me. So let's get off of our pedestal and our high horse and stop treating people as though they are the scum of the earth. When really and truly, even those who are coming across the waters and risking their lives, they shouldn't be doing it. But they're doing it because they're looking for a better life. You know, they haven't got any money. They, You know, and regardless, can you imagine going across those waters, getting stuck under, you know, lorries with all that, in, all that bad air and emissions? being squashed. I, I remember watching a car where there's about 30 crammed into a back of a car. Each one of them had paid their way thousands and thousands of money in their, in, in their own currency, in the equivalent of their own currency. They didn't come over here to DOS or to take your benefits or to cr commit crime. They were hoping and believing that they could make more money and do something and probably and go back. I know when our parents in the Windrush came over to the UK and I know they were invited over, but a lot of them came over, they had to look for jobs. Jobs weren't given to them, even though they were invited over to build up the country. But they did it to make a better life. A lot of them, they planned to come over here and go back plan to come over here, save money and go back. But that didn't happen because once you come into the system and you realise that the more you pay in, the more they take out, it made it very difficult. 
So even though the dollar looked pretty or the sterling looked pretty, by the time tax and national insurance and everything else comes out of it and you've paid your bills and you're being exploited left, right and centre, there's hardly anything to save to go back. So all I'm saying is whether you call them illegal immigrants, foreign aliens, whatever you call them, they're human beings. And that's all I've got to say this morning. Have a good day and good night wherever you are. Bye-bye.